depending on the shop. We're gonna clean that uh, 29 with a better pressure washer. So uh, let's get after it. Well, we're gonna try it again. I got a different pressure washer right over there. And I'm gonna see if I can clean this dirty, nasty thing up and maybe make it look a little better. All right, bring it back in and we're done. All right, so we got it pretty clean. It looks like the car was kind of a bluish green at some point in its life. We got the lichens off. This rumble seat I might run into some issues with space of things, but I didn't get the inside of the door because it's going to get uh, replaced with these guys. These guys came pretty clean. You know, this one looks like it was white. This one too. So should be a good time. Got the back end cleaned up. We got some dents to remove. A bunch here. And a bunch here. So we got to cut out some floor. Some of the challenges we're gonna we're coming to, I'm finding here before we even get started. We have to replace these doors. Now, this is a serious question. This one doesn't want to come out. This one's just holding the door and it came out fine. This one came out fine. This one doesn't want to come out. I've tried rust penetrant, I've tried heat, I've tried a hammer, I've tried a chisel, I've tried all sorts of different stuff. I would love some uh, ideas because this one's stuck. This one came out and this one's stuck too, right here. So put it down in the comments because I'm open for any ideas. We have some green on the hood here. Cleaned up pretty nice, I think. I even washed the tires just in case someone looked, in case the neighbors looked or something. We still got this crispy guy, but of course we got that cool stuff right over there. All right, looks like we got Good chunk of the lichens out. I'll probably have to scrub it again, but um, I think it turned out okay. Now let's go talk about the challenges we found <laughs> with the uh, Speedster. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Can't wait to really get going on it. All right, if you saw the other video, you saw that we got to drive this guy. Well, it ran pretty okay. And... Uh, Still getting the hang of this guy right here. That non-synchronized non transmission at first was a little bit of a challenge. So you can see the size of the fuel tank here. This is kind of a problem because uh, we got to either because if we get a bigger one, we might run out of room on the rumble seat. And plus, remember we're going to put that battery back there. We've got this wiring to make sure that we don't pinch or cut fuel lines underneath. You can see the wiring runs right here. We have our lovely mechanical brakes with our one adjustment right here. And then the rods that go underneath the car up there. Guess I'm gonna have, I guess we're gonna have to learn how to do that. I did put the baffle back in. My mother-in-law was uh, not enjoying the loudness, but you know what? It's not for everybody. Let's face it, I know it's gonna come back out. This carburetor was kind of a problem. It's pretty gunked up. Um, we're gonna to have to rebuild it, replace it, or uh, maybe it just needs a good cleaning, but that's the thing. We're gonna wire this side of the headlight up because it doesn't, this one doesn't work. The other one actually does turn on. So does the taillight. Found out what the one switch was for. It's actually turn on the lights. This guy right here. Plus we got our other switches, our sweet dash. We got our good old starter lever. So all this stuff's gonna have to come down, you know, down in here when we decide to lift this off. I found most of the body mounts, you know, up in here and down the sides. But the biggest challenge is there's only two of us. Might be able to kind of form it into coming out and helping. Um, the radiator actually did pretty good. I thought there was a leak, but it was just the overflow. I think it was a little bit, I think he topped it off and that a little bit too much. Of course, we got wheels and tires issue. What are we gonna do? So, these are the things, a very short list of things that we found before we even got started. So, let's not forget, 
we still got this one to do. Bonnie's out in the back, or out in the detached shop, and it's that one did fine. I had it out yesterday. I did a lovely burnout. Wayne Reynolds did it in your honor. So, now we're going to start taking this guy apart soon. We also got to take the transmission apart on that one, or the pan off of that one, and get that one working. Um, please, if you have any ideas on how to get those pins out besides heat, rust, penetrate, and a hammer, um, I am more than happy to listen to them down in the thing. Like I said before, if you want to put trade stickers with us, send me an email. It's in the About Us on the page. Uh, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep on running and have a great day.